Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. This is dealing with your boy or some of you guys. I, who is Yo Gotti? But this video is based on Zedzilla. Alright, so again, Yo Gotti Ghostwriter. Yeah. Yeah, Yo Gotti had a ghostwriter. Yo Gotti Ghostwriter. Zedzilla speaks. Young Dolph looking out after label dropped him. So again, if y'all not familiar with the history of Zedzilla, he been knowing Young Dolph for years. Him and Young Dolph family, uncles and aunties, they been they went to high school with one another. You know what I'm saying? They was running ran the streets with one another basically. Uh they was hustling in the streets. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so check this out, man. Yo Gotti dissed everybody from 3-6 to play a fly after he did a song with Young Dolph. Yo Gotti even dissed his ghostwriter, who is Zedzilla, the same way. Oh yeah, like I just said, man, some of y'all didn't know that Zedzilla was Yo Gotti ghostwriter. Alright? And again, this is going back to this is back to the basics. You know what I'm saying? What, 2005, 2006 that Zedzilla had been known to be Yo Gotti's ghostwriter. Again, y'all can hear Zedzilla all on back to the basics. One and two. And Zedzilla ain't even rapped on it. All right? So yeah, man, that lets y'all know the real reason Yo Gotti wanted Zedzilla on his team. Just as his ghostwriter and nothing else. Even when Zedzilla had some fire tracks for his own album, Yo Gotti would find a way to finagle those songs from Zedzilla for his own mixtapes or solo joints. But if y'all not familiar with Zedzilla when it comes to bars, he a beast. I mean, the man helped write bars for Bow Wow, Zayn, Lil Romeo, and other young artists coming up in the rap game once upon a time. When it came to putting songs together with the hook, 12 to 16 bars layout, the bridge, the hook, and another 12 to 16 bars, Zedzilla was a mastermind. Plus, he knew how to make beats. And that's a big plus in the rap industry. Again, which was and still is a major component in the rap industry, which is creating your own beats, making your own beats. If you really professionalize the craft of making beats, you can get paid more or similar to writing songs. All right. And again, making beats was like making beats was something that was wasn't as much required in that time. Like it is now. Because if ones knew you could rap. Like literally have bars and make beats. Someone in the industry will cuff you. I mean pick you up. You know what I'm saying. They have you part of their label. This is to where you will only do beats and write music. For them. For the, the person. Um, whoever you sign to. Or the record. The label company. Whoever you sign to. And that's all based on the bogus contract you signed for however many years. You understand? So check this out. What I'm getting at is in that time, right? Only guys, only a, a, a handful of people knew how to write rhymes and make their own beats. Those, those people you can count on one hand who can rap and make beats. Again, a label or a Pacific artist will sign them to their label. And keep them there for however many years. Because again, that person who has a talent and both writing bars and making beats, they didn't come around as often. So again, when they did come around, the person or the label was signing them to a contract for 10 plus years or even more. You understand? So yeah, check this out, man. Guys get done like that all the time to where they think because this person of a certain stature want you on their team because of your talents slash craft now you could be careless and just want your music to be heard no matter who puts it out or you could rush to sign a deal because you believe this person of whatever status has your best interest at heart when it comes to how you get paid or promoted in the industry when that's far from the truth you have to do your own research you have to read all your documents based on before you sign it Okay, so whatever contract somebody presents to you, I don't care if they're your best friend. I don't care if they in the family. 
properly read the contract because you're the first one that's going to get, you know what I'm saying, messed over in the end. All right. So Zedzilla say he faced the same experience of feeling like you're getting somewhere, but you're being used and don't know it until a certain amount of time passes. And the same people you wrote for are limps above you in the rap industry. That can create a certain feeling from people taking advantage and you not properly handling your business affairs accordingly. You dig? Zedzilla say he experienced true loyalty the first time in the game with him and Young Dolph linked back up. The love and support Young Dolph showed him. Zedzilla say Young Dolph treated him like he was a part of Paper Route. He also say Young Dolph spun the block and picked him up. Zedzilla is basically saying at a time where he felt like the industry forgot about him, Young Dolph was calling him for beats and to do features. Again, if y'all not familiar, Zedzilla and Young Dolph has about at least five or six songs together, maybe even more. Maybe even more based on the amount of how many beats Zedzilla had also done for Young Dolph. So again, we got about five or six songs or more that Zedzilla did with Young Dolph. And again, also the beats, also the beats that Zilla created for Young Dolph mixtapes and albums. All right. So, yeah, Zedzilla say situations like that is the reason Young Dolph has so much respect and admiration from his peers. Never carrying the big I, little you mentality, but treating people with the same care you will want for them to treat you. Not only that, Dolph spoke life into ones who felt overlooked and undervalued. Let me say that again. Zilla says Dolph spoke life into the ones who felt overlooked and undervalued. That's the reason why justice for young Dolph is a key component into the, in this rap industry right now. It's real talk. Because like I said, somebody like young Dolph who did not promote, he did not promote gang violence. He did not promote, you know what I'm saying? None of that that you guys see. Mostly Young Dolph promoted again, which was uh, independent. How to how to stay independent, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you can start it, but to sustain being independent is a difficult thing if you're not constantly putting your own money up and creating your resources around what you're trying to professionalize, you know what I'm saying? So again, do you, if you're trying to professionalize being in the rap industry, the best thing you can do to prevent shortcom and to have longevity, again, is to have the proper people around you, you know what I'm saying? Create relationships, you know what I'm saying? Social networking is a key component in the rap industry. All these goofies out here saying, I ain't making it with nobody. I did it by myself. It's all the lie. It's all the flies. You know what I'm saying? These dudes be straight capping. These dudes get the most help. If not from their family, it's from somebody, you know what I'm saying, who was on a block. You know what I'm saying? Who who had that who had that bag? Who didn't mind investing into them because they know they'll get it back. But again, this video is based on the ghostwriter of Yo Gotti, who is Zedzilla, and says how Young Dolph looked out for him after Yo Gotti and the labels dropped him. And this goes to show the same respect that Juicy J showed for Young Dolph, Project Pat, Crunchy Black. You got Zedzilla, Player Fly, like all the OGs who created a, a footprint, who created a footprint in the rap industry, spoke highly of Young Dolph. Even those of 8Ball and MJG. Also had the same respect for Young Dolph as well. And that goes to show. You got guys from Orange Mound. You know what I'm saying? Uh, White Haven. A.K.A. Black Haven. You got guys from all around. You know what I'm saying? That show the same similar respect and admiration for Young Dolph as he showed them. You understand? Hey, but as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.